The second son of Barisa National candidate for Kuala Kangsar said he was hurt by the remarks reportedly made by former Perak Menteri Besar, Datuk Sri Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin on the helicopter crash that claimed his father's life in Sabuyau, Sarawak on May 5th. Muhammad Nizar reportedly said at an event on Monday that God chose to have the by-election in Kuala Kangsar because the government toppled the Perak government led by Pakatan Rakyat in 2009. Sebagai anak kepada arwah Datuk Wan dan juga kepada anak kepada Tim Astura, Um, nak cakap terkilan tu tak tahu macam mana Tapi sebenarnya kami teguris Sebagai seorang anak kepada seorang arah bapa yang telah meninggalkan kami Kerana isu begini boleh dipolitikkan um, Kami masih dalam proses um, Grieving orang kata Dengan kehilangan arwah Jadi bila isu arwah Ayah kami pergi dipolitikkan Kami sangat teguris hati Wan Imar Izzat hope things like that will not be repeated As whether it is appropriate for a former Perak Menteri Besar to speak such words, Wan Imar Izzat, who is 25 years old, said he wanted an elaboration because he believes that everyone actually has good intentions towards his family. At a separate event in Sungai Besar, Deputy Rural and Regional Development Minister Datuk Alexander Nantalinggi said Muhammad Nizar should apologize for making the remarks. Ya, pandangan dia, lah. pandangan saya, saya. Tak tahu adakah pandangan dia betul tidak. Saya pun tak nak uh, campur dengan uh, apa yang telah dilemparkan oleh beliau sebab kalau saya sebagai bukan orang Islam, eh, uh, saya pun memikirkan tak bolehlah kita uh, uh, menuduh ataupun melempar sesuatu yang sebegitu yang bagaimana kita tahu kan. However, Parti Amanah Negara's candidate in Kuala Kangsar, Dr. Ahmad Tarmizi Ramli said he did not hear the remarks which could have been taken out of context. He said Muhammad Nizar had merely implied that the by-election was an opportunity to teach the government a lesson for their role in the Perak crisis.